finally happy with how the exhaust manifold is fitting and I think I've decided on keeping it a bottom mount setup. I flipped the manifold over and tried to put the turbo up top in the engine bay and I really just didn't like how most of the exhaust is gonna have to come out of the back of the turbo and it's gonna have to run by all the coil packs and I really just think it's gonna cause issues later down the road with melting those wires up there. So I flipped it back around, we're gonna do a bottom mount Hopefully we can make it work. But one of the things that I noticed that this motor mount is right in the way if we're gonna put on the intake for the turbo. So I uh, hit up my buddy RJ at Big Duck Club and he hooked it up with this motor mount. So this should give us a little bit more clearance so we can go ahead and fit that intake tube right through there. And this thing is gonna go just like that. Something like that anyway. So how am I gonna make this turbo fit? This is Royal Purple's Turbo the Daily. Okay, so with this manifold, this is a T3 flange and our Garrett Turbo, the G25 550, is a V-band. So I went on eBay and I bought this little adapter piece. It was like 40 or 50 bucks. Not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna put this onto the manifold first, put a couple bolts in it, and then I'm just gonna kind of hold that turbo up in there and see if there's any clearance issues with anything. I'm probably gonna have to cut that flange off and weld the right size V-band end on there, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Moment of truth. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to weld just based on this. The exhaust housing is hitting the block right here. So I think that what I'm gonna have to do is put like a little elbow on this guy and get that turbo uh, just clocked a little bit better because this, this exhaust housing is too big is what I'm seeing right now. So not the end of the world, but just a little bit of work. They're liquid build. No way. That's why the bottom of this thing is so dirty. Old, new, or wait, new, old. This thing's looking fairly beat. I'm pretty sure that's what that clunk noise was that I couldn't figure out for a while. Every time I'd make a turn and hit the gas real hard, it'd go clunk. But I'm gonna go right ahead and say it's that motor mount being torn in half. So since those motor mounts are completely smoked, since I'm in there, I might as well go ahead and call O'Reilly Auto Parts and see if they have one in stock, or maybe they'll just have to order it. They're usually pretty good about having stuff in stock though. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm calling about a, uh, I'm looking for motor mounts for my 1995 uh, BMW 325iS. Um, and. Oh, you said transmission mount. Yeah, I just need the motor mount for right now. Sick, we got the babies in stock. <laughs> Love it. 0.4 miles away from our shop, O'Reilly Auto Parts had the motor mounts in stock. So we're gonna go in there and grab those babies for uh, 48 bucks a piece. There she is. Here we go. New power torques in the house. Here we go. Motor mount. <laughs> Oh, freshies! Brother! Here, go, go, go to your home. Ah, yes! That thing seems fairly upset now. That's probably 25 years old. Yeah, you can barely tell. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a gravity feed out of the bottom of the turbo because we have to feed oil pressure into the top of it. It's gonna go down, um, it's gonna hit a eight or a 10 AN line and then it has to gravity feed back into the oil pan. Mind you, the oil level is right about here on this pan. So we don't have a whole lot of room. And when I hold this turbo up in there, where it hangs off the manifold, we don't have a lot of room to get this thing to gravity feed. So we have to come out of this over to there. So it's basically a straight shot at best right now. That's why I wanna try and shave a little bit more off of this little adapter I made and try and push this turbo up as high as I possibly can. I decided not to use the T3 flange adapter because one, it's gonna have some bolts in it and I'm gonna have to deal with trying to get those bolts in and out and then hopefully not, but maybe that T3 gasket might blow out at some point and I don't wanna deal with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this directly onto the cast manifold and that's just gonna, gonna basically give us a little bit more room for that turbo. Like I said, every single millimeter counts. I want this thing as high up as I possibly can. So I got it tacked up in there right now. The turbo seems to be fitting pretty well and I'm stoked on it. So what I figure I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and work on the oil drain that comes out of the turbo. Turbo. So it's barely gonna have enough downhill slope because this has to gravity feed into the pan and we're gonna have the world's shortest line in there. But for right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and plow a hole right in this uh, oil pan here. And then we are going to weld that in there. And then we got our turbo drain. So one step at a time. All right, so far, really all I have into this thing is the exhaust manifold off eBay, which is about 80 bucks. I have the Garrett G25 turbo, which is right about two grand. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit of an investment, but it is an investment. You have to put your money where uh, a turbo that you know is not gonna fail on you and it's gonna last for years to come. Uh, I have about 140 bucks for this motor mount and then 50 bucks a piece for the motor mounts, um, just the bushing itself. But you might not need that, you might get lucky, but in my case, I needed it. So not too bad so far. 